morning everybody from the explorer as you can see i'm on my own Lee's at work for a couple of uh, days so i'm just coming away exploring the area of tyneside and the beamish museum beamish is absolutely fantastic i'm going to try and do some filming for you I'm, i've got a, a new camera as well for my pictures um which i think i showed you previous um some of you might have seen it on facebook um, so it's absolutely great. I absolutely love the, the uh, photographs it takes now. It's a Nikon, uh, Lum sorry, it's a Panasonic Lumix G100, and I'm just literally getting used to it. And I found all these settings which does like black and white um, art effects. There's some great ones. Beamish Museum. It's all like 18, 1900s. It takes you sort of like back to the, that time. There's like vintage buses, trams whizzing around. It's great. You need to go if you haven't been. Uh, I've been a long time ago, but I'm really looking forward to exploring it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do some filming for you and hopefully you enjoy the vlog. Well, we've arrived at Beamish. Exciting. So we're just heading now down to see some to get on the vintage uh well tram or bus whatever comes first and let's see what this place has to offer Beamish is set in vast countryside with different areas to explore. You can walk or catch the trams and the buses to each location. So we're going to start off at the entrance building and work our way to the 1900s town to start with. Right, welcome to the 1950s town, or is it 1900s town? One of the two. So here you've got dentist, you've got sweet shop, you've got hardware shop. Fish and chips just passing me. Clothes shop. Vintage bus, everybody just getting off. Groceries just behind me. What's in this one? Let's have a look in here. The garage. Oh, the smell. It's like oily smell. Just in front of me is the Jubilee Confectioners sweet shop basically. I need to go in there. Let's go across there now. Thank you. 
Smell of all these sweets, absolutely delicious. Mouth watering. Look at them all. And then in here, we've got them making them. As you wander in and out the buildings here at Beamish, exploring all the different areas, seeing the staff in the authentic costumes and taking in the sights and smells, it really does make you feel like you're back in time. Hiya, yeah. can I get a Beamish gingerbread please? Just the one piece? Please, yeah. That's it, thank you. Cheers. Well I must admit that Beamish gingerbread was delicious, but one place you didn't want to end up back in them days was the dentist. Let's head there now. Not one of my favourite places, but dentist, we better uh, have a look. Come on. Up the dreaded stairs. Hi. After safely leaving that dreaded dentist behind and then wandering through the nostalgic fun fair, it was time to head round to the 1950s town. Here I had the pleasure of meeting Michael Cuskin from the Hebern Living Well with Dementia Group. What amazing work Michael and his team do to help people living with dementia. Right, just behind me we've got the 1950s brand new for 2023 we've got a lawn at hairdressers a cafe and sweet shop and fish and chip shop let's go and have a look elizabeth's is a replica of an end terrace shop from burr street in middlesbrough hair was big in the 1950s literally next we have john's cafe from ice cream to rock and roll the interior of the popular ice cream parlour of John's Cafe from Wingate in County Durham has been given a new home here in Beamish. And next to that is Middleton's Quality Fish and Chips. The fried fish shop has been replicated from Middleton St George near Darlington. The 1950s town development is still ongoing and the building what they're concentrating on at the moment is the cinema which you can see right here. Okay, let's take a look into the house. This house is a recreation of the former home of celebrated North East artist Norman Cornish. Norman Cornish was an English minor artist who lived in Bishop's Close Street in Spennymoor in County Durham in the 1950s.
This area is part of the 1950s development, where you can see a replica pair of police houses and also a 1952 semi-detached house. The 1950s development also includes the Coronation Park and Recreation Ground, which is named in honour of the Queen Elizabeth II. Just behind me are the 1950s style houses, what you typically live in. Let's go and have a look. After walking back to the 1900s town, I jump on a tram to head to the 1900s pit village and colliery. Officially opened in November 2019 was the Northern General Transport Bus Depot, which groups together the museum's bus fleet within one bespoke building, complete with workshop facilities. The building reflects interwar architecture due to the varying ages of the buses that are housed there, with a colour scheme based on the livery of the Northern General Transport Company.
Right, here we have the colliery and pit village. We're going to go down the pit and have a look around this area. This looks really, really interesting. I'm going to look forward to this bit. All the old wagons and the machinery. Wow. It's, uh, it's really fascinating this, I can't believe. It really takes you back, really takes you back. You can't even imagine like what it must be like to live back in the back in them days it's uh, yeah i don't think people realize <laughs> until you come to places like this fascinating just yeah right enjoy Generations of families worked down the North East Pits and the site on which the Museum of Beamish stands was once at the heart of the Durham Curlfield. After exploring down the pit and looking around all the different buildings here, I headed off into the 1900s uh, village, which is just joined next to the colliery, and I explored there. The 1900s pit village, you'll find the Fancy Street, which shows the terrace of Miners' cottages, the school, the Silver Band Hall, pit pony st stables, a chapel, and Davis Fried Fish Shop, where you can get delicious fish and chips cooked in a traditional beef dripping. Can I get um, these small fish and chips, please? Small fish and chips. Please. Um, do you do hot drinks? We do tea or coffee. I'll have a tea, please. Yeah. Thanks. That's it. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Please. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks. After eating my delicious fish and chips, I headed to the Pit Hill Chapel, which is a typical early 1900s Wesleyan Methodist chapel, hosting choir services and community events. Listening to the amazing choir, the school bell rang. It was time for school. Into the playground we go before our maths lesson begins. The school building came from East Stanley, which was a couple of miles from the museum, and originally opened in 1892. Wait. 
80 shillings in a pound and 21 shillings in a guinea. Leaving the 1900s pit village, I walk across to the 1820s landscape, Pockley Wagonway and Pockley Old Hall. Right, so I hope you're enjoying Beamish so far. I'll tell you what, it's value for money. It's £22 adult, so is it 20, no, £22.50? And you can come back within a year, as many times as you want. The Beamish layout is vast. So I don't know if you can see in the distance, um, somewhere around this area, with, or up here, you can just see a Helter Skelter, which is a fun fair. Across just here behind these trees is the town. Yeah, so I'm just gonna carry on looking around and just keep bringing bits to you, okay? Um, I've just seen a, a little train as well. Uh, behind me, no, sorry, in front of me. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over there as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna explore. <laughs> tell you what, it's warm today though. I don't know what temperature it is, but I tell you, we've been having some fantastic weather recently. That's why I've come just to make the most of it. Yeah. So um, for anyone who hasn't subscribed to our channel, please do so. It does make a really big difference. And don't forget to like and follow us on uh, Facebook as well. That's where we put all my all our photography. Put them into albums, so uh, yeah, do check them out. Another tram just going by. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on walking. See you soon. Right, so we're just arriving at the Pockley. So you can see the church and the thatched barn behind me. And then just through these gates is where all the engines are. So let's check it out. going to take a little ride on this just up in the demonstration line Hello. Can you explain what you're doing there? I'm knitting. Knitting? I'm what? knitting a pullover. So this is simple stocking stitch and it's for a children's pullover. Ah, very nice. 
So what would this building be? So this is a farm workers cottage and it's been pressed into use as a billet for members of the land army who've come to work on the farm during the Second World War. Okay. So the interior is a little bit spartan because it's whatever the farm would have had to spare to give the girls. But it's very comfortable. An inside toilet, all sorts of nice oh. hard cons. <laughs> Luxury. There, there was, uh, there's a gas boiler above the bath, so it's rather fancy. But there would have been four, possibly six girls living here. Probably six at busier times, things like lambing and the hay harvest. And times when the farm would need extra hands, there might have been six of them here. What the land army would have lived in, some of them would have been in the farmhouse themselves. Some of them would have been billeted in barns. Or just like evacuees, they were often farmed out to local people who had a spare bedroom and they could take yeah. a girl in. Can we, can we, yes, Thank you, we'll have a look. Thank questions? you. Sugar's just to have yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now. thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Enjoy now. Well, that's the end of uh, the vlog for Beamish. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been absolutely fantastic. As you can see, the bus going just down there, the village in the background, absolutely amazing. And I've just been told that the ticket, um, can you, you can use it on all events as well. So you can come back, it's valid for one year, and you can even use it for all the events. What they have, they do a 19 with the tanks and military and absolutely loads. So I'm going to check that out. Um, but yeah, don't forget to look, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, See you very soon.